What is it? I am not sure. I found it in my auntie's old box marked eighties. Does it do something? Um, not sure. I think it's a video game. I want to plug it in, but <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. runs around and hits stuff with his head, and then he stomps on stuff. Is he supposed to be the good guy or the bad guy? I think the good guy, but I kind of feel bad for those walking mushrooms. They're just trying to get past, minding their own business, and he's supposed to stomp them? Uh, I don't get this game. Wanna try another? Yes. So, the little boxer dude fights the bigger boxer dude. Oh, wait. I was just reading about how Jesus said to turn the other cheek. And from the looks of it, it does not look like that little dude is turning the other cheek. He's throwing bows! Next! Yeah, you stack the blocks and try not to get to the top. Fun! Yeah, let's play. Ooh. Oh, left, off, left. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, a square. You're good at this game, Jay. <laughs> Thanks. Stacking blocks is kind of my thing, especially fake, totally pixelated blocks. <laughs> what if we could be in a video game like this one? <gasps> that would be incredible! You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, let's do it! Three, Three two, two, one, press play! play. Woo! Woo! We did it! We're in the game! No way, this is awesome! Nope, this is Tetrix! Who, who are you? Miss Mario is the name, and this is my game. Hey, Miss Mario. I'm Emma, and this is Jay. Oh, wait, are you? The other guy? My brother. Yeah, we don't talk much. He's into breaking stuff with his head and jumping on walking mushrooms who are just minding their own business, trying to get past. Not cool if you ask me. That's what we thought. Anyway, are you two ready to play? Yes! Absolutely. Then it's Tetris time! Whoa! wrong with the game. What? Why? It, it keeps saying we tied and we didn't. Oh no, it's not broken. That's the way we play Tetrix. Whoever does better, that's the score you both get. That's Tetrix. But that's not fair. Nobody wins. Yeah, even if I stack better, I don't win? Stacking better, winning, not being fair. This all makes me think of a story that Jesus told when he was telling people what the kingdom of God would be like. It's from Matthew 20. Wait, Ms. Mario, you have a Bible in here? Hey, it's a video game Bible, so just roll with me here, yeah. <laughs> okay. So as the day went on, the vineyard owner saw more people that weren't working anywhere. He invited them to work in his vineyard. This happened throughout the day at different times. So by the end of the day, everyone had work a different amount of hours. When everyone lined up for payment, something crazy happened. Well, it was crazy to some. What? Everyone got paid the same, no matter how long they worked. Are you kidding? Yeah, how, how is that fair? That's what they asked, especially those who had been there 
all day. But the vineyard owner told them that everybody agreed to work for a day's worth of pay, so how was it unfair? He went on to say in Matthew 20, 14 and 15, Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired the last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I'm generous? Mm. Generous? I don't, I don't get it. I mean, they all agreed to work for the same amount, and it seems like the amount that was promised was more than enough for a day's work. Exactly. This story is not so much about whether or not the workers got what they deserve, but how generously the vineyard owner gave to everyone, even when we might think some of them didn't really deserve it. So. Jesus was showing that his idea of fair looks different from ours? Totally. Jesus finished the story by saying this about the kingdom of heaven in verse 16. So the last will be the first, and the first will be the last. Mm. But if the first are last and the last are first, then everyone's like, e equal? Yeah. So it's not only fair, it's perfectly fair. That's right. It might not seem like it at first glance, but Jesus is always fair. <laughs> Whoa! That's not Tetrix time music. <laughs> it means we gotta go. I wish we could play again without worrying about the score. Yeah, I think that would be even more fun. Handshake time! Turn to your neighbor and join in. <laughs> What's up? You don't want to play anymore? Nah, I mean, this game was cool, but I like Tetrix time better. Let's recap. We pressed play and got to be in a video game where we met Ms. Mario. We played her game Tetrix and then learned about Matthew 20. It was a story that Jesus told about a vineyard owner who paid everyone the same, even though they worked different amounts of time. Jesus explained this story because he wanted people to know that in the kingdom of heaven, everyone will be equal because Jesus is always fair. And trends come and go, but Jesus is always trending. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. We're dropping the verse. <laughs> is it that time already? Here we go. Is that verse? Let's drop it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. One more time. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday and today yesterday. and forever. Okay. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday and today, today and forever. forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. Okay. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever.